What is reverse mortgage and how does it fit into your real estate goals? Hi everyone, my name is Nigel Wong. I'm a real estate agent with EXP Realty serving the greater Toronto area. Today I have two special guests today to talk about reverse mortgage. So my first special guest is John Sunning. He's a mortgage agent with Caliber Mortgage as well as Eric Lee. He's a real estate and business lawyer with Garrison Law. So Johnson, so the first question I have is, what is reverse mortgage and how is it different from traditional mortgage or refinancing or home line of credit? So uh, great question. Basically, a reverse mortgage is very similar to a traditional mortgage in every sense. The only main difference is that on a traditional mortgage, you're qualifying based on your income uh, versus debt. Now with a reverse mortgage, you're qualifying based on your age. So Johnson, so what are the main advantage of getting a reverse mortgage versus other mortgage products? So the main advantage would be the payment option. So I'm going to start with the, the first one, which is just like a regular mortgage. You can okay. pay principal and interest. Okay. The second payment option, interest only. Mm -hmm. Or the third payment option, which is no payment. No so payment. no payment. That's incredible. It is. So you just let the interest accrue until when you pass away. I see. I see. So what are the, some of the common scenario where we can actually take advantage of this kind of flexibility? So basically it's good for everybody. There are some uh, less investment goals that people use it for, where they take it out, they just enjoy life. They travel around, they buy a new car, they pay off the debt, uh, buy a new boat. Uh, there are some more investment savvy people that would use it for investment. So instead of waiting until you pass and then your kids take over the equity to invest, now you can start earlier. So anywhere from, depending on how long you live, uh, 10, 15, 20 years. So you can start earlier, you take out that equity and then you give it to your kids. Instead of having just more primary residence that grow in equity. Now all of a sudden you have one house to your son, one house to your daughter, and then now you have three houses that are go growing in equity. That's great, mm -hmm. awesome. So Eric, from a legal perspective, what are some of the implications and things we need to pay attention to with regards to reverse mortgage? Uh, so Nigel, um, one of the benefits of the reverse mortgage in, in terms of what we've seen on the actual closing side is that it's actually quite similar to a conventional mortgage. Uh, I would say one of the main differentiating factors that we would see is that most lenders do require uh, independent legal advice. What that means is that in most cases where uh, real estate lawyers, at least in Ontario, are acting for institutional lenders, a lawyer can represent both the uh, borrower and the lender all together. We are seeing with uh, institutional uh, lenders that are doing reverse mortgages though, uh, they are requiring uh, ILA. ILA stands for independent legal advice. And what that will typically entail is that even though um, we are only instructed to act uh, on the lender's side, um, and then the borrower will actually have to retain a separate lawyer to uh, represent them or provide them with independent legal advice when they're signing off on those documents. Um, so in that regard, there's actually a separate cost and that effectively they're paying for uh, two solicitors to uh, act on the transaction because typically it's the board that is responsible for all the legal fees related to the reverse mortgage. Uh, in general though, one of the benefits, or at least from what we're seeing, the clients do find the reverse mortgage to be a positive experience because um, it does often feel like there's no money that they're really fronting on the closing. Uh, generally, we're seeing that there's commitment fees on the closing. Uh, there may be appraisal fees that they are responsible for as well. Um, one differentiating factor is with some uh, conventional mortgages is that, uh, you, as you may be familiar, the, the mortgage brokers often paid with letters of direction. Um, so when the funds are advanced from the lender, the broker takes their commission or cut from the mortgage advance. Uh, most of these uh, reverse mortgage products that we're seeing, the, um, the fee is actually covered by the bank. So the, the borrower is not actually seeing that amount taken out from their advance. Um, so with all these additional uh, costs that are typically levied, they're actually deducted from the advance. So it's not like 
the borrower is paying the money up front. Of course, it gets accumulated into the debt, but in terms of the borrower's goals of not having to carry payments or actually take money out of uh, their own pocket to access additional equity in their house, this is a, uh, a common way that they can do so by uh, going through with a reverse mortgage product. So Johnson, from the fees perspective, right? From the customer side, like what kind of fees they have to pay uh, to get the reverse mortgage? So Nigel, on the fee side, it's very simple. Um, there is just a commitment fee from the lender. So that will range from about $900 to about 2000 depending on the, which lender you go with. They do have different programs, so different clients will fit into different uh, lenders. Uh, there is also the um, uh, lawyer fees. So solicitor fee plus IOA is about $1,500 to $2,000, depending on the lawyer again. Um, there's also the appraisal fee. So four to 500 bucks, that's about the market rate right now. There is no broker fee. So like Eric has mentioned before, you don't need to pay us anything. The bank will pay us a commission. So there you have it. So that is what reverse mortgage is all about. I really hope that this video is helpful to you. And if it is, please give us a like, comment and share. Even if you don't like it, please comment below and tell us how we can improve. Uh, so here's the information of how to contact me. And this is the information for Johnson. And that's the information for Eric. And uh, please feel free to reach out and we would love to hear from you to hear uh, what you think about this video. Thank you, bye-bye.